next topic um, shipment scheduling <clears throat> so let me show you what is this <clears throat> so shipment scheduling so for example when we create a sales order <clears throat> let me call it old sales order <clears throat> if I select this item and go to details by clicking this icon item details okay and if I go to the shipping tab page here uh, sorry not shipping schedule lines if I go to the schedule line tab right so here if I click on this shipping icon, shipping, here you can see different types of dates. Okay, so in the sales order you can see um, there is a delivery date. Okay, then we have a good issue date, we have a loading date, we have a material availability date, and we have a transportation planning date. Okay, so all these dates are um, are calculated by the system automatically. Okay, so so customer will say okay I want to I want the delivery on this day and system will calculate accordingly that when should I make this ready in the warehouse and when it should be ready for the loading and when it should be ready for the transportation so that it can reach customer on this date whatever date they are looking for okay so this is called shipment scheduling <clears throat> so let's start with shipment scheduling So as I said, there are different types of uh, dates you can see in a sales order. So starting from order date, okay, then we have material order date is a date uh, when we created the sales order, okay, and then um, and then we have material staging uh, date. We have transportation planning date. We have loading date and good issue date and delivery date, okay. So let me show you what they means, what these dates are. Okay, so if I show you maybe this slide first. Okay, so probably give me a second. Let me copy this. It's better now. <clears throat> so. So as you can see in a sales order different types of dates okay so what are these days dates okay so like order date what is order date the date on which we we place a sales order okay that's order date okay so then we have material availability date okay this is a date that by which the sufficient quantity of material must be available for picking and packing okay so this is a date when we should have the material available in the warehouse or in the plant so that we can ship it, we can pack it and we can ship it to the customer. Okay, so whether whether it should be uh, coming from the third party vendor, whether it should be uh, manufacturing in our own plant. So, but for us material availability date is a date on which the material should be ready so that it can, we can pack, pick and pack and uh, ship it to the customer. <clears throat> then we have loading date. Okay, load, loading date is, is date the date when uh, on which the picking and packing process is completed okay so so for example we have an order date then we have the material is available okay then we have a loading date okay so if if the material is available today it doesn't mean that I will be sh uh, shipping the goods to the customer just you know if just on, on the same day okay I, I if in my plant I also need some time to uh, do the packing and picking and all that okay so th that time is your loading date okay so date on which the picking and packing process is completed okay so first material will be available in my plant okay to, to be ready to be shipped ship to, to the customer then I have all, also some internal process in my company for picking and packing so that could be taking one day that could be taking two days that could be the same day as, as well okay so that's a loading date so date on which the picking and packing process is completed <coughs> Then you have good issue date. Okay, so so now material was available, and now we have done the picking and packing. Now goods are ready to be shipped to the customer. 
okay within the uh, within that packings okay so that's a good issue date so this is a date after the loading date on which the goods must leave the delivering plant so that it can it can reach to the customer on the right time okay that's a goods uh, good good issue date and then we have a delivery date so delivery date is the date on which the customer should receive the goods okay so basically all these dates are you can see in the sales order so delivery date the date on which the um, the the uh, customer wants a delivery okay then we have good issue date okay sorry let's start with material availability, availability date okay so material availability date is uh, the date on which the material should be available in the plant to be ready for picking and packing so that we can send it to the customer then we have a loading date loading date is the date when we it should be we should start we should have completed our loading okay so for example you can see material will be available on 6th 7th is a loading date that means on this date our picking and packing process will be completed and there is another date that is next date is a good issue date on this date the customer we will ship the goods to the customer okay so that's your different dates okay now what is shipment scheduling okay what is shipment scheduling okay now if we are sending the goods from our our plant say i'm sending goods from melbourne to say us okay australia to us okay so that what will happen okay so there is a thing called transit time <clears throat> okay so whether you sending the goods via via air via via ship or via road okay there is a transit time the time that is taken uh, for the goods to reach the customer okay that is your transit time okay so we need to calculate as we need to consider the transit time as well when we calculating all the shipment scheduling okay that's your transit time okay so and we also have a transportation lead time transportation lead time is that that we you know materials are ready in my plant but i need to do the all my internal stuff like picking and packing and all the paperwork i need to ready that's my transportation lead time okay so let let's discuss them in the details <clears throat> there are two types of uh, uh, scheduling okay one is called backward scheduling and one is called forward scheduling okay so what happens in the backward scheduling so when i when i'm creating a sales order for example i'm creating a sales order here okay so i will add one more item here so i will add one more item p1091 and say two pieces is saying there is a open quotation just ignore that and just say continue so you can see so for example you can see this first date okay see this first date okay if i put the cursor on this one and press f1 it will tell me tell me what is what is first date okay let's see so what is the first date so the delivery date for the schedule lines okay the delivery date that can be date requested by the customer or earliest date processed by the system after automatic availability check okay so what this does what this one means is so customer will say okay i want this goods to be uh, sent to to my place on this date okay i want the delivery on this date for example it's uh, because it's a old sales order that's why it's picking 6 so if i let me create a new sales order then <clears throat> slash and va01 to create the sales order or 1010 press enter here i will enter my customer press enter and here i will enter my product for example this product now the default the, 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 uh, uh, first date is which is the proposed delivery date is 23rd okay that i think that's um, what is the date today uh, well so the, i think that one is 
11 date in the future or something. Okay, so that's the system proposed date. Okay, customer will say, okay, I want this.